In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing and not launching issues with Sniper Elite 5 on your Windows computer. So straight away, if I go ahead and press play, I do actually get an error message saying that Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. If I then press OK, I then get another error message saying that error launch in the game and then it gives me a code there. It does not matter if you're not getting that exact error message. The methods that I'll show you in this video will resolve a lot of crashing and not launching issues with Sniper Elite 5. But before we get started, I wanted to just add in showing you that the methods did resolve the issue on my computer. So if I press play now, you can see I'm no longer getting the error message. And there we go, you can now see the game is launching. So the first thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, click update and security, and then click the check for updates button, and just ensure you have the latest updates installed for your Windows computer. If you also do have optional updates or a feature update available, go ahead and download and install that as well. So once you have fully updated Windows, the next thing you need to do is just update the driver for your graphics card. And to do this, all you need to do is go to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, expand the display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card and it's a GTX 1660 Super. So I'll need to go to the Nvidia website and download a driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop links in the description below to the websites AMD, Nvidia and Intel. Also, I will pop a link in the description below to our website with a guide on more methods and other fixes that you can do to hopefully resolve Sniper Elite crashing if the methods in this video didn't help. So now you have updated Windows and also the driver for your graphics card, go ahead and launch Sniper Elite and see if that resolved the issue you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game. Once you're in the location where you installed the game, you then need to open up the launcher folder and you would then see Sniper Elite 5. You need to right click on this .exe and go to properties, compatibility, and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and okay. If you installed the game using the Xbox app, then you won't be able to do this unless you know how to unlock the file permissions and stuff like that, but I won't show you in this video because it can be quite complex. There is actually an easier way of doing this, and that's by going to your shortcuts, so the Sniper Elite 5 shortcut, like on my desktop, or within your start menu, right click on the game, and just go run as administrator. So once you've done all that, go ahead and run the game and see if running it as an administrator helps resolve the issues. If it doesn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and go to power options. You then need to select additional power settings and you then need to select the high performance option. You might have noticed that I've got an ultimate performance option selected. If you want to set this option, then you do need to unlock it within Windows. I will pop the guide to our website showing you how to do that. So go ahead and set it to high performance and then launch the game and see if that helped. Other things to do is also ensure that you do not have any other programs open when launching Sniper Elite 5. If you have OBS Studio open, MSI Afterburner, an RGB program for your keyboard and mouse, ensure all this is closed just in case it is conflicting with the game causing it to crash. That also goes for if you have overclocked your hardware on your computer. So if you have overclocked your graphics card or any other hardware, remove those overclock settings if you know how, as they could also be causing the game to crash. So again, once you've done all that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is just ensure that your security software is not blocking Sniper Elite 5. So if you have a third party security program installed, try enabling a passive mode or a game mode if it does have the option, or disable your security software for a temporary period of time, launch Sniper Elite 5, and then see if you have the same issue. If you don't, then you know you need to add the game to the exception list in your security software. If you're not using a third party security program, then you will want to check the Windows Defender firewall just to make sure it's added to the list in there as well. So to do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and then type in Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to select Windows Defender Firewall. Next, you need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. 
You now need to select anywhere in the list and then press S and you will then see Sniper Elite 5. It should have a tick under private and public. If you don't see the game in the list, then you need to click on change settings and then go allow another app and then browse for the .exe and then add it to the list and then click on private and public and press OK. So once you've done all that and if you did have to add the game to the exception list in your security software, then launch the game and see if that now resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is run a disk cleanup. And to do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in disk and then clean up. You can see it's there on my screen now. You now need to select your C drive and press OK. And you then need to just go through the list and select everything you're happy to remove. Once you're happy, go ahead and press OK. The more you select, the better. But just remember, once you deleted the files, they are permanently deleted from your computer. Once this cleanup has finished, the next thing that we need to do is open up the launcher that you purchased the game in. So if you're using the Xbox app, then you need to right click on the start menu icon and you actually need to go to apps and features. You then need to search the list for Sniper Elite 5 and then select the game and then go advanced options. And you now need to scroll down and you're going to click on repair. And this is just going to check that the game files are all okay. If you purchased the game through Steam, then you need to now open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to find Sniper Elite in your games list. I'm just going to use PUBG Battlegrounds as the example. You then need to right click on the game, go to properties, and you then need to ensure that you don't have anything in the launch options text box. You now need to go across to local files, and you then need to click on verify integrity of game files. And this is just going to ensure that none of the files have become corrupt or missing. Allow that to run and once it's finished, launch the game and hopefully that would have resolved the crashing and launching issues. If you purchase the game in the Epic Games Launcher, I will show you how to do this now. Once you have the Epic Games Launcher open, you then need to select your profile icon in the top right hand corner and then click on settings. Next you need to scroll down and find your game. I'm going to use Fortnite as the example. You then need to ensure that additional command line arguments isn't selected. If it is, then just untick it. Next, you need to go back and then find your game in your games library and then click on the three dots under the game and then click on verify. And this will then check the game files in the Epic Games Launcher if that's where you purchased the game. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. Other things to do if you're using the Xbox app version of the game is to simply open up the Microsoft Store and then select library and you now need to just click on update all and this is just going to update everything and as you can see there there is an update for the Xbox app on my computer which would then hopefully resolve the launching issues with the game. So as I said that now brings me to the end of this video if the methods in this video still didn't help you get the game working then you can click on the link in the description below to a guide that we have on resolving issues with the game and there might be another method in there that I've not added to this video. So if you did like the video click the like button below and if you would like to see more computer sluggish videos then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next video.